All right, guys. So I've been thinking about doing this for a while now, finally getting to it on a Monday morning. Um, I want to go through my whole sales process for my company, right? Exactly from beginning to end, what happens when uh, somebody from our company enters a client's house, going through all the things, steps, and then finally closing them, you know, helping them decide a way to um, protect their families, take care of their families with some kind of insurance, right? Some kind of life insurance, that is. All right. So before going on into the, you know, before starting, I just want to let you know a little bit about the background of our company, not to, you know, advertise it, but just so how it works. So there's no confusion about the sales process, right? So we're a hundred percent union based companies. Okay. So directly we only deal with union members. All right. So 1199, 272, all the unions in New York city. And basically what happens is they get a, um, the workers have have an opportunity to um, fill out a card that's mailed to them from their union, from their workforce, um, requesting for some insurance. So a small form of insurance, usually it's four thousand dollars of accidental coverage um, that comes to them at no cost, already paid for by the union, right? When they do fill that out and they mail it in, we get the lead. Our company gets the lead, and that's how that's generated. So then our job is to go into their house. Um, give them what they ask for as well as the other benefits that come along with it aka other large life insurance products right now we do have some other things on the side uh, ways to gather referrals and you know provide value to the clients I'll go over them as well because it is all part of the sales process so without further ado let's get started I'm going to annotate on the side about you know a little bit about what I'm saying and what I do um, which is not gonna be a cold <laughs> presentation where I just you know ask the questions about report because there's nobody else to build a report with right all right guys so first thing when I get in the house I introduce myself all right hi Jim my name is Shib I'm from my company um, I'm, I'm to, we're here today because I have an appointment with you to deliver your benefits that you requested to your union um, let's go on to the kitchen table the first thing I ask themselves is their wife home. If they're single, I don't ask that. You know, I've already figured that out from the phone call, but I find out if their wife is home. If their wife is not home and they're, you know, he's a married guy, I do not do the presentation. I say, hey, Jim, um, you know, I build a rapport for a while, get to know them. Hey, Jim, um, basically, uh, the benefits that we're about to go over, it can apply to both of you. So, you know, um, I would like to do the presentation when you're both home. So let's do this. Let's, you know, call it it for today and let's pick a time when you and your wife is both gonna be home um, this weekend perhaps what do you when do you think if they're not sure I say let's certainly put a time that they're best guess and I'm gonna confirm with it later on in the phone whatever the case is I do not do the presentation because if you do end up selling them insurance a lot of the times if they do have a significant other they talk it over and they end up canceling the chance of canceling is a lot greater um, if you don't show them both just think about it your, we go up training process of three weeks to learn how to present and sell insurance and then we sell it to one of the <laughs> partners then that partner if he decides to buy has to present it to the wife now after seeing it for one time he didn't go through the three weeks training like we did so it doesn't make sense to do that you just don't shoot yourself in the foot just um, call it for another day right having that said that's the first thing I go over second given that they're both here all right you build some rapport right my report is not the best right now I still follow the general guidelines I talk about family then I go into their occupation then their hobbies and then I you know I share a little bit about me that's the four steps I always go through right so this is a bit about this is a bit like what it looks like hey Jim um, no it's more like all right Jim you know this is good uh, I like this neighbor how long you lived here Oh really? Okay. I, you know, I've been planning to move out in Bronx because a lot of people I see are in this area, and I, you know, I commute from New Rochelle. It's pretty far, but uh, it's pretty good. You know, at this time, I was surprised that the parking wasn't so bad. You know, I was thinking about parking all the way down that block, but I saw a lot of open spaces that I was just park right outside your door. I love it. You know, that's not a lot of places I can do in New York City. Uh, just very small talk about how my drive was here. Um, how's the weather things like that winter's going away always uh, you know a good conversation starter after that I get into their family um, and you know the little formation that I just talked about 
how many siblings do they have? Are they here? Do they have a lot of family down here? Do they have a lot of family down here or not? How are the holidays? Do they go back home? Or are they originally born and raised here? Simple things to get them, you know, get to know about them. Then I share a little bit about myself as well, you know. I don't want to sound all one way, gathering information about them. And then, you know, no like, you know, I already say how many people, you know, I have here. Do I have any family, friends? Um, you know, my brothers and sisters are back home, etc., etc. Then I get into what they do. What's their title? What union position do they work for? How long they be, they've been in there? Do they, you know, what, what are their experiences? What are the current challenges? And what's the company looking like as time is going on? Just a little bit of talk here and there. Involve the significant partner as well. After that, I break it down like this. All right, Jim, so let's get started. Today, we're gonna go over some real cool stuff. The first of all is your $4,000 um, accidental coverage that we'll go over. Um, after that, there's some additional benefits that come along with it at no cost to you. The best benefits discount card that's designed to save you more money in prescription vision, hearing, and dental services. And then there's a child safety kit for your daughter and your son, right? It's just to protect them, I'll go over that as well. Lastly, Jim, it's a family care plan, all right? This is something that's tailor fit just for you. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you qualify for right now, but we do realize that there are some serious gaps in, you know, union workers, you know, welfare, health and welfare. So that's in the end. I'll go over that with you as well. If that makes sense, you guys can enroll today, you know? The, it's, it's, an, it's no obligation. My job is just go over it to you. If it makes sense to you, there's an open enrollment, you can take advantage of it today. If it doesn't, then you don't have to. You just leave a feedback and that's it. Does it make sense? All right, guys, let's get started. All right, Jim, so this is very simple. It's a one-time payment of $4,000. Something was to happen to you, right? Basically, it's an accidental coverage. Something was to happen to you by, you know, God forbid, your bus hits you, unexpected. Um, your wife here, as you mentioned, will be receiving $4,000 as a one-time payment. This is where the address she'll have to mail in with the proof of debt certificate, and uh, then she'll get the payment out to her to you know as a check or savings account as she likes. Does that make sense? All right. So there's a few things on the thing. Um, the, for example, exclusions such as uh, accident um, exclusions such as intentional death doesn't count. All right. So as we all, and that's obviously something you know. Also, Jim, if you if something happens to you and you lose a limb an arm or a leg, or you go in through an accident where you lose your sight, you can mail this in yourself and get half of this amount, so $2,000, uh, while you're still living and breathing. Does that make sense? Okay, great. So it's very simple, like I said. Here, you just put the beneficiary's name one more time, your wife, your signature here, and as a licensed agent, I will sign here, making it a complete document, all right? Great, guys. Now, now Jim, God forbid in the event something was to happen to you and your wife at the same time, we would need two people that would be receiving this uh, in, as a beneficiary. Who would your two people be? And? Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Jim. That completes that. The two people that they talk about here is usually their children okay if the children is really young sometimes they give other people outside the house like oh my brother this that's when you get their you know put the information out but then you also ask them you know where they live what do they do and things like that for and that is because that can be a potential um lead you know referral after because his brother he feels uh you know he feels is important enough to have the you know, right to this claim, something was to happen to him and his wife. So I'm pretty sure later when you call his brother and says, tell him that you have been, you know, elected as a person who's that, I'm going to come in and you can go in from there. Also provide them some of the same benefits, right? All right. Having that said, the next benefit that we go through with our clients is something that comes through their, you know, their union discounted programs as well. All right, Jim. So the next part is called the Best Benefits Discount Card. This is designed to save you more money in prescription, vision, hearing, and dental services. So real quick, this is what it looks like. There's a 1-800 number here that you can go to to see you know, if you have any questions. Also a website to see everywhere this card is accepted. It works at prescription, vision, hearing, and dental services, $6 a year. So it's very affordable, Jim, right? This is the part you start to love the union you're in. <laughs> 
All right, eye care plan. Anytime you have eye examinations, they will take 10 to 30% off of the examinations itself. After that, every time you break your lenses, glasses, whatever instrument you get, you get 60% off that. This goes for your family, not just you, but your entire family, kids included. Hearing aid, anytime you have something needed for your hearing aid, even for your mother, your immediate family members, you'll get up to $550 off, depending on what the um, mechanism you purchase is. 10% off any batteries relating to hearing aid. Prescription drug plan. Anytime you go to the doctor, they write you something, you have to go and get it from one of the major places. There's thousands of other locations in the doc, in the website. Uh, you get 30% clean off those, including multivitamins and you know things like vitamin D, iron, things of that nature. Lastly, dental plan. A lot of people fall in love with the dental plan because you know a dental is Jen. Uh, this works with oral surgery, periodontics, dentures, fillings, crowns, even co-pays. Lastly, the best part, cosmetic dentistry. This will take 50% off your the bill you'd have to pay out of your pocket for um, braces, tooth whitening, whatever you call it, Invisalign. They have it all. Lastly, Jim, there's a gold program. In addition to the four things I just mentioned, they have chiropractic plan, 20-hour nurse supply, and that's $24.95 a year. A bit more expensive but still very affordable if you have the need. If you don't have this need, like a bad back or something like that, you can just go with the basic. Um, the card looks like this. It's very easy for to apply for. You check which box you want and just put in your debit card information or your void check, money order, they took care of the postage for you. You rip it out, once you fill it out, put it in the mail, the card will be here in five to seven business days. Make sense? Great. Arjun, now this comes to you and you're also able to sponsor five other close friends and family members to receive this gift. Now, who do you know doesn't have, you know, has a hole in their health coverage or just somebody who you, you like to help out so they don't have to pay as much for co-pays, for prescription drugs, um, for health, you know, for, for dental care. All right. Are you know what? All right. So let's, let's go. Your cousin, mm -hmm. name blah 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 blah. You get all the people to have, all right? Great, all right, Jim. So thank you very much for putting them down. I'm glad, you know, I'm sure they'll be in love with this because a lot of people who are not in unions don't get uh, to take advantage of, you know, the healthcare plans that are available through that. All right. Computer's messing up one second. I'm gonna start showing the videos. So for the referrals, you just want to you know gather their name one by one, and then after that qualify them. Where do they live? What's their age bracket? Um, you know, are they married or single? What kind of work they do? And um, also, you can also get like things the part of the area they live in. Now, this sounds like it's a lot of information, but most people give it out pretty easily. You just tell them like, hey, this is just so, you know, we know what's the best time to call them. We would know what part they're in, so they're scheduled properly. Married or single, do you know if you want to sit down with one of them or both together? Things like that, they're, they're pretty okay with it. It's not as hard. The, the hard part is usually to just um, make sure they understand the value in it, right? Which is, which is really there. All right, Jim, moving on. The next part is the uh, child safety kit. Now, I'm gonna play a video to show you why it's important to have these benefits, um, have child safety kit, and I'll go over the kit with you. All right, let's get on. You've had that feeling. You took your eyes off your child. Now, normally I play all the videos in the house. I didn't play all the videos now, like the uh, introduction and everything because takes a lot of time for the video purposes but I want to play this video because this is the best referral um, system that I've ever seen in any in any kind of um, you know like industry in life insurance and in, around us right so this is our number one way to gather referrals so I want to really put it on video and you know put it out there so people can see I'm for just a moment to answer a phone then you couldn't find them your stomach sank. Your heart nearly stopped. You began to panic. But when you turned around, there they were, running back to you safe and sound. 
But what if you hadn't been so lucky? According to the FBI, acting quickly is a missing child's best chance for being found. It's a frightening reality. 93% of abducted children are killed within the first 24 hours. How do you give authorities all they need to know to find your child without losing precious time? Do you know your child's height? Do you have a current photo of your child? Can you provide fingerprints for your child? Your Normally I'm watching it with them. Yes. <laughs> right. But is this critical information in one easy to find location? To give your child every chance to be found as early as possible, we are giving you a no cost child safe kit for each child in your home as our way of saying thank you for seeing us today. Our child safe kit is endorsed by the International Union of Police Associations, so Jim, it's all 50 states. the American Federation of School Administrators, and the American Federation of Teachers. Our child safe kit is a convenient way to record comprehensive information about your child so authorities can help find your child quickly. Your representative will give you a child safe kit for every child in your household. We recommend that you complete the child safe kit after your representative leaves today and keep it in a safe and convenient location that you can access quickly. It could literally save the life of your child. Does that video make sense, Jim? All right, so I'm going to go over the kit with you now. This is what it looks like. You ever had one before? No? Okay, I'll go over it with you. All right, so what's your daughter's name? Aaliyah. So I'm gonna use an example. Aaliyah's name will go right here, and the date you complete this kit will be going right here, Jim. Not her birthday. Here again, her name, birthday, and female will be in pen, because these things will never change. Everything else that will change, her height, weight, all the way down to anything she's allergic to will be in pencil, okay? And you'll be updating that information once a year. Over here in the back, a photograph of Aaliyah, uh, headshots, no group photos, has to be taped, not glued. Because you're going to be updating it once a year, right? Um, a school photo is fine. That's the best ones to go with, or passport. In the inside here, now they come with all 10 fingers. Before it used to be just three, now 10 boxes, 10 fingers. We provide you with a dual ink strip. You can see here, it opens up from the middle like this, and both sides are wet, Jim. One side for one hand, the other side for the other. Just have her go from the, take the ink and place her all 10 fingers matching them. All right? Anything that makes Aaliyah look different than other kids, you want to put it here for braces, moles, scars, whatever it is. Just put a mark front, back, and then name the description. Lastly, Jim, DNA. This is fingernail clippings or hair pulled from the root. You want to put them either or firmly with tape or put in a small Ziploc bag and staple it. Got me so far? Now, how does this really work? So you fill this out, Jim, and you put it in a safe place at your home that's easily accessible. Then God forbid you never have to use it. But if ever something happens, life happens, and you can't find Aaliyah, you call the police. They come in. Instead of them going through 35 questions, their whole script, and you know making you wasting valuable time, as the video stated, you just grab this and hand it to them. It makes the job infinitely easier. It works with Amber Alert. They get it and they turn it on right away. They go to their car, they turn on Amber Alert. You know, you get the message, right, on your phone. Also, from July, they're working to put the pictures. As soon as a child reported it with this, they're going to put their pictures in Times Square screens, including in bridges where people are stuck in traffic. Basically, Jim, getting the whole city's eyes and ears looking for the kid. The police is a phenomenal force, but they're not everywhere at all times. So having your... Child, having the public visually aware of a certain situation at a certain time makes their chance of recovering the child much greater. Does that make sense? All right, great. There's a few last things in the back you can go over with the child. Stranger, danger, cautionary things. That's the child safety kit. Now, just to give you a little bit about the numbers, last year we had over 12,000 kids reported missing in New York State alone. The numbers are insane, but the good news is that programs like this are already starting to bring these numbers down. Our goal is to get this kit to every family that have kids under the age of 18. To accomplish our goal, we're gonna need the help of the people we sit down with. So what I need you to do, Jim, is just go through your phone and name me people who have children under the age of 18, and I'm gonna make sure they're gonna get this kit at no cost. All right, okay, who's first?
You see that? Um, that referral system is insane. When you say who's first, they're almost like, they're, they can't even find their phone. They're just like getting it. The wife is on a roll. They're just spitting out names. I usually average about eight, you know, seven to eight names at least per each household I go to through this, right? They want to name their cousins, friends, families, everybody they care about with the child safety kit. Later on, they all convert to referrals because what you do is later when you go through them, the only difference is instead of going through them with the insurance that they requested, you go through them because, hey, Mary, Jim has sponsored you from his union to receive the child safety kit. Today, we're going to go over the child safety kit. After that, there's some additional benefits, aka life insurance. Anyways, so that's our number one thing. I just wanted to put it out there so people can see, um, you know, why that works very good, right? It, it's who doesn't want to save their children, a no-cost program to protect the children in case of emergency. All right, so having that said, that finishes the, you know, the, the first half of the presentation, okay? Half of the sale is getting the referrals. The other half is the insurance, right? So once you got the referrals, qualified them all, now you move on to the insurance. So this is how I get started with the family protection part, okay? Um, right after all that is finished, I give them the power by saying this. All right, Jim. So the next part is the family protection like I talked about in the beginning, okay? This last part is my job is just go over with it with you to you know make sure you understand how it works. If it makes sense to you guys, then you guys can take advantage of it today. If it doesn't, then you don't have to, okay? Fair enough? All right. So before we get into that, do you have a will in place? Okay. Well, I have something that you like. If they say yes, then you say, okay, all right, so you'll know what this is. If they say no, they're like, if they say no we don't then you say all right so i have something you like either way they'll like it <laughs> this is something that we just have from our company that helps us find out what they currently have do they have any other insurances what their financial situation is, is like okay without making it seem so like we're gathering information and this is how it goes all right jim so what we have here is called a family information guide this is a roadmap that something was to happen to you the roadmap to transition for your children is less complicated, all right? So it's very simple, it's the type of thing you fill out and keep in a safe box at home, okay? It's a no cost service. First is the vital statistics, okay? You put your name, your um, address, things like that. You ever served in the military, Jim? No, that'll be blank there. Your wife's name and her information will be here. Persons to be notified. Now, the two people you have that will be in charge of your funeral services, something must happen to you, all right? Do you have somebody in mind like that? Okay, you want to put them down right there. Last will and testament goes in the middle. Let me bring this closer. And then here, Jim, it's very information uh, important. This is the estate information. This is where you want to put the major assets you and your wife own currently and approximately how much they're worth. So you know, um, so you should know where to claim what. Also, you want to put the major life insurance policy, the, you know, all the life insurance policies you currently have running on the books. Do you, have, do you guys have any? Okay, great. What do you have? Just term life or whole life? Oh, term. Okay. Um, is that a 10 year, 20 year? All right. Okay, great. So you want to put that here. That's good. Um, and that's the only, only coverage you have? Okay. Or you just have a term life for both of you or just you? Just you? All right. Okay. Great. Uh, we'll get into that. But, um, you know, generally speaking, the number of, uh, the average number of policies a union worker has right now is three. They have a whole life for the funeral services. They have term life if kids depend on them, you know, whatever the case may be. And then they might have supplemental mortgage or other insurance, right? But we'll get more into that, Jim. Don't worry. Financial institution information goes after that. And lastly, funeral services. If you want to be cremated, buried, mausoleums, whatever the case may be, just put it there. They know how to use the funds for what. Make sense? All right. So what we just did right there is we found out that they have some kind of term life. So you're already prepared, all right? Um, it doesn't mean automatically that, oh, they already have term, they're gonna buy whole. Like a lot of people buy term because they believe in term. Now, you're gonna go two ways about this. You, you just already plan to see how they feel about it. The next step is for you to kind of get them to take you back to where they, you know, their thought process of what, um, you know, what made them buy term life, okay? 
and you can you can ask very generic questions sometimes that makes a difference right if they actually went out to buy the insurance online or somebody came to in their jobs a lot of times if somebody just came in their jobs they that's all they you know they just got sold on what the company had or whatever the you know corporation that you know visited their job place but if they actually went out on their own time to buy insurance that was term then you want to go a bit more in to understand that what was the thought process especially right because that's something that wasn't that happened to them they made that decision so how I do that is basically um, I ask them like but uh, what made you guys get termed though you just ask them straight up it's it's not a you know it's a it's not a difficult question and they'll tell you they'll say well you know first they sometimes say some brushing the top kind of things like you know if something happens to us in the next 20 years you know things to take care of or something blah blah blah, blah, blah. And they're just like mostly quiet they don't you know say too much what you want to do is oh, okay but did you get that through the job like somebody came in the job or did you go out and get it yourself and you get into that after that you ask them okay well did you have the option for whole life what made you get term and you know term and not whole now this part is critical they will tell you that you know whole life is so expensive it doesn't make sense you know after this 20 years if they're on their own you know most people will say a lot of people who have term will say that they're on their own you know I'm here to take care of them until they're uh, 18 20 years old my kids are small now after that you know they should be standing on their own feet or whatever the case may be you understand what kind of person they are so you get yourself prepared so once you get through that you go like all right Jim okay great so the next part it's called a needs analysis all right everybody's needs are different Okay, what may work for you may not work for the person I'm going to enroll after you or may not work for the person I enrolled before you. So this is like a survey thing where we can say exactly what you can qualify for. All right. Okay. Now, before we get into that, I have to read you a mandatory letter. Okay. From the union. Now, this is when I read the mandatory letter. Let me go get it. Alright, so Jim, this is a mandatory letter that I have to read you off from the union, right, before we proceed into the needs analysis. As you know, your employer strives to protect you and your family with the best possible group benefits. However, many important benefits cannot be retained after you leave the job or retire. Therefore, it has long been the goal of every concerned employer to secure low-cost family protection for its employees on a permanent basis. Basically, they're shining light on the fact that a lot of people in the union, like yourself, Jim, they serve the city for decades and after they leave their benefits go down and they have nothing to show for it makes them vulnerable if you know whether they're retiring or if they get fired or you know the benefits don't go with them so this is something that we're gonna go through you know the thing we're about to go through right now is permanent that goes with you whether you are here or you, you lose your job and move somewhere else all right we're making these programs available to those who can qualify these programs pay in addition to health and welfare workman's compensation and any other benefits you may have basically what that means is that um, it's by law can't affect anything else you have pension whatever this is it only adds on to whatever you already have going all right okay if you qualify your coverage lasts a lifetime and it's under your independent control there's several benefits please take a few minutes to listen to the representative who's calling on you today because we have so many members to see we have to put you under one application if you like the plan Jim that's fine but if you don't like the plan that's also fine but please once all the programs have been explained just say yes or just say no the reason a decision is vital today is there will be unfair for others waiting to be seen if I visit you again without giving this you know chance to take care of this the first time for the first time so what I did there is basically that's the most important part in the mandatory letter okay you nail it down that after you explain everything they you they have to give you a yes or a no today there's no silly things like think about it or anything like that because once you if you get in a house and show them insurance if you don't close them down the first time the chance of you closing down them down another time 
is, I don't know what the number is, but I say zero because <laughs> I never had it. I've been here with the company almost four, now, four months now. I had numerous times people are like, oh my God, I just, you know, I want this. They even fill out the application. They just need to give them me their bank information. They don't have the routing number. I'm like, we're going to give it tomorrow. Never to get in the house again, ever. Zero so far. I have yet to see a person, um, you know, myself close a person down after I leave the house, no matter how much they want it. So this is very critical where you nail it down that at the end of today's discussion, they're going to give you a yes or no. So moving on. All right, Jim, make sense? So now we have the needs analysis. Just get right into it. Um, your last name is spelled Rivera, James Rivera. Okay. Your birthday? Okay. Wife, your name? Birthday? Okay. And Sarah and Aaliyah? Blah, blah, blah. The next part, you ask them some of the, you know, major questions. Because, you know, just to make sure you're not wasting your time. Hey, Jim and Mary, the next couple of questions, we would just like to know that do you guys ever have any kinds of cancer? Or do you have any forms of cancer right now? No? Okay, great. Do you have any form of, um, you know, any history of heart attack, strokes, things like that? No? Anyone has terminal illness in the family? No? Okay, right. Now, the next questions don't disqualify you, but they would still like to know. Are you guys smokers? You smoke but not her? Okay, great. And um, did you guys ever get arrested for trying to drinking and driving? No? Okay, great. All right. Now, moving on, Jim, um, on a monthly basis, how much would you say you bring in in your household after taxes on a bad month, you know, average bad month, round figures, estimate? About $1,500, all right. And Mary? 1200 Okay, good. And Jim, you said you have some form of um, term life right now. Mary, you have nothing? Okay. And do you guys rent or um, you own the house? Rent here? Rent. And. All right. Okay, Jim. Great. So, how the system works is that it comes up with a formula for you. Basically, it goes like this, Jim. How many hours are you working right now, currently? 30 hours a week? Okay. If your employer was to call you tomorrow and tell you, hey, I have some great news for you, from now on, you're going to be working 31 hours instead of 30. From next week, are you going to go out and buy a new car, Jim? They'll probably, they would say no, um, just one more hour, you know. And then you say, all right, on the flip side, let's say, marry you too. If, if you're working 30 hours now and the employee, employer calls you over and says, from now on, we have some bad news for you. Instead of 30 hours, you're going to be only working 29 hours, okay? Sorry for this, but... If that happens, would that make a drastic difference in your life? Would you guys have to move out of your house or anything like that? They'll probably say, like, no, we can probably manage. It's, it's, it's not a big thing. All right, okay. The reason I ask this is because that's what the formula with this um, program works like. It takes one hour of your life, of your working week. It's the same guy, same fucking guy. Um, anyways, <laughs> how this works is it takes one hour of your working week, guys, to make sure you, your family, and your children are protected. Not just for now, but for the long haul, and even when you're gone. Does that make sense? Is that okay? All right. You just want to get a yes there, so later on, you kind of ruled it out that you're not going to say anything like, I can't afford it right now because you just showed them that it's one hour a week that's what they use by so you got two of the major rebuttals that people come with already pampered down number one is i need to think about it i can't jump on anything like that just yet you made sure with this whole mandatory letter that the decision you say yes or no today no think about it nothing like that another thing i can't afford it right now i got a lot of bills you just lay it out there. It uses one week of your paycheck to lay it, you know, just out there that to protect your family, your kids, for everything that you know they stand for. One week of your week is that okay? They say yes to that. Already, that's pampered down. Now you proceed. All right. It wasn't always like this. I did this, um, I, and I ran through a lot of problems before when I skipped this part in the script. But now that I do it, the chance of, you know, closing is much greater. <sighs> All right. 
Now you move on and you tell them that about the next part. How this um, the first video will show you how this program will uh, provide an immediate sum of money to cover your final expenses. All right. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole video because it's pretty long, but I will annotate through just to show you what they are shown. Right. Come over to the, the side of it. Of dying or losing a loved one is never an easy topic. Most people prefer to avoid talking about it altogether. Unfortunately, it is one conversation you are guaranteed to have at some point during your life. You may have already experienced the stress of coping with the death of a loved one. Death is an emotional issue. Too often, family members struggle between mourning the passing of their loved one, dealing with the division of personal effects left behind, and making funeral arrangements. Grieving is hard. But it's much harder when there is a financial strain of paying for the final arrangements. The average cost of a funeral continues to rise, and these expenses can be higher depending on where you live. Typical costs include so, transporting of remains. Involved. The video shows them the things involved in funerals and how much it can cost, okay? Our company specializes in funeral services, right? So that's what that they target through. Um, it shows them it can be as high as $14,000 for your funeral, depending on what you want. Um, it shows them it's rising still you know, with inflation, as with everything. It tells them a few information that a lot of times they don't know, such as Social Security only gives you 255 death benefit, which doesn't really do shit. Um, and then it tells them that job coverage, if you're reading the fine prints, because a lot of times they don't you know, cover you unless something happens to you while you're in the job, which is true. And people come to surprise to that. And then it shows you, you know, like a bit more emotional tie downs, like who's gonna pay your final expenses? Who's gonna bear that burden because it passes on? Are they gonna have to sell your house or even use your life savings? And then it kind of makes them feel sick about it and then they, it resolves the problem. It's like, oh, but what you can do now today is take a simple step to take care of all those issues and, you know, worries. Here's how it work. They will, through the Freedom of Choice program, you'll be able to take care of all that. And it goes out to show, you know, if you died tomorrow, wouldn't you think about your family? You know, wouldn't you know that you're, you were thinking about your family today? It ends with that. It's a very emotional video because life insurance is a very emotional purchase, right? But what I want to show you is the main part of the Freedom of Choice. So this is after the video ends, I go like, did that video make sense, Shim? Does it kind of make sense how... Having something that take care, takes care of the funeral services from their side, you know, from from the other side, at an instant, makes the transition for your family less complicated, right? Compared to coming up with the money first and then getting paid back later or something like that. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to show you how that exactly happens. Basically, in 2005, a law was made by President Bush. It stated, that it's called the Patriotic Law, it stated that insurance companies and banks have up to 30 days to 60 days to pay out a claim. They have the right to do a full investigation of how the person passed away before they give the money. For union companies, they use a different service called the freedom of choice. How this works is, as soon as something happens to you, Jim, the funeral company will call the 315 number, that's the insurance company, and they'll tell them, yes, Jim is with us, start the services instantly, right away. Don't let the family even go through any dealings with the funeral services because it's all done from our side, all right? Not only that, they also allow you to put a maximum amount that you'd wanna use for your funeral services. The reason they have this part is because so the funeral companies don't raise up the value, the price of your funeral services. They don't say you need a bigger room, higher higher you know, tables, more horses, more chairs, things like that. They have an amount to work with and they won't ask for a penny more. They will go in knowing what they have to work with and they won't even bother your family for more. Make sense? Lastly, you can put a description of what you want exactly to happen and your wishes will be taken out just like that. It's a no cost service for you, for you, for you. and you know, as, you, as I'm putting it back in the folder, I always, you know, solidify that a bit more. I always tell them like, it's a no cost thing that that's, you know, when the time comes, it's, it's you know, it's priceless because grieving is hard already in of itself, but grieving and dealing with the financial issues with your funeral services is another thing. All right, Jim.
the next part will show you um, something for your child's education because as of now you have nothing for their college saved up right and then I play the college video now this one I'll really skip because it's like over five minutes long um, let me see computers glitching basically parents, you hope to see your children go to college you know the difference a college degree can it shows you the value of college and how, how easy an accident can happen and how often it happens because this is accidental coverage. And they, they, we, we show them that you know, concept of college for their kids because that's one of the biggest bills that people have you know, and, and as well as it happens to be the biggest bill and also the biggest hope for most people, the kids to go to college, right? It shows them the average cost is 68000 right now. By the way it's going up, it could be as high as 100000 average. Um, it still shows them the value of going to college, like average high schooler starts off at 21000 they get a bit more bonus, I mean a bit less bonus than a college student and ends up with 23, $23 million their whole lifetime. A person with a bachelor's degree in their first job makes a starting annual salary of 36800 It goes on to show then, like do not you know, do not let your accidental death prevent your kids from going to college. All right. Once you have, once we show the accidental, it usually is the last part of the, um, last part of the, you know, last program. Okay. Now we just break down the whole coverage to them and what it costs, etc. Now, the reason the other parts didn't come in, like the, um, what do you call, the uh, paycheck protection or other, you know, that's our term life, is is actually because they're not making a lot of money. They're making. About fifteen hundred now, they said, and her wife is making his wife is making twelve hundred. With that formula, they don't put the term life. They just want to make, put, give them some whole life for funeral uh, protection. That's what we believe, you know, that they need, right? Not to just leave a legacy first, but to make sure there's no debts, you know, there's no gaps in their coverage in terms of taking the funeral expenses. That will be taken care of first, and then priority will be given for accidental. Lastly, if they were making more money, they would be given the. Uh, paycheck protection but how I tell them once that doesn't come up is that hey Jim for now you have some if they have term life I tell them that's the because it doesn't come in because that gives them the sense that even though they have that this covers everything else okay compared to telling them that oh at the moment we don't we're not adding a term life to this because you're not making it that doesn't make sense you know that sounds kind of weird you tell them that Jim, right now you have some term life that's very good. You want to congratulate them on their decision, never make them feel bad. But then tell them that, but as of now, you don't have anything for funeral services or anything that's permanent. All right. Then you break it down to them and re go through for this specific one the value of a whole life because um, they, they have term life to begin with. So I turn the computer to them and I break them their whole coverage at, at this point. All right, Jim, so this is what it comes down to. Take a pen. <laughs> okay, so currently you have some term life, right? Which is good. This is gonna cover protect you for thirty thousand dollars of whole life. This is a permanent coverage whether something happens to you next week or thirty, you know, thirty years from now. All right. It goes on you with you for the rest of your life. All right. The investments never go up and it builds cash value so you can borrow from it if you have financial trouble. You're qualified for $30,000 and your wife is covered for $21,896. All right. The next part is your child, um, Aliyah, will be getting $100,000 for college. This will be a wire transfer to wherever she's going. If she doesn't want to go to college, she'll be given this amount in a savings account. Either way, it's tax-free benefit. 
All right. On top of that, the program comes up with ten thousand dollars each for your child. So this is a family protection. So God forbid something happens to one of your child, um, you'll be getting ten thousand dollars for their final expenses. But more importantly, when they turn twenty-one years of age, the policy will be they'll be able to put it up to as high as fifty thousand dollars without going through the qualification process that you would have to go through today, because you've been you would have gotten it for them when they're clean slate, young and healthy. Make sense? The next rider, Jim, would be um, terminal illness, meaning that if something was to happen to you through a terminal illness and you have a couple of months to live or a year, the la you can take half of this entire coverage and use it for your final expenses. I mean, for your bucket list, final choices, wishes in life, because the last thing you want to worry about in a situation like that is money. All right. Lastly, layoff and strike waiver. This is basically, if you get laid off from work, you'll have three months to not put the investments. After three months, if you're still not back on your feet, you can put it down to something that you can afford and then put it back up later. Okay, they, they basically drop you. They don't just cut you off like other companies because this is from the union. We're designed to work for working class families. And then the other thing is a strike waiver. If you if your company you're working for right now, your union goes on a strike, you'll never have to put the investments. You know, After they come back on from strike, the investment that you didn't put don't have to be repaid. Does that make sense? Once I tell them that, I'm kind of getting out of breath now because normally there's more talk back and forth. This has been me just like... Anyways, once I tell them the writers in the policy, I recap the whole thing once again. So Jim and Mary, you got your funeral taken care of with some permanent protection. You got a child's college insured, something was to happen to an accident, and your family with your children has their policies up for themselves as well. Along with that, they have some amazing writers in the policy. If everything makes sense that I said to you today, the policy comes up with two choices. This is where the closing comes in. Okay? The program asks you, program tells you the first part is for this price here, $84.59 on a monthly basis. You see this this is everything is standard of what I just showed the next program the next part is everything's the same except a little less for your funeral services that will be for 6825 make sense all right now between these two programs which one would be best for you and Mary and just wait don't say a word no matter how long it takes. If it's like five minutes, five minutes, keep breathing and just wait. When they speak up, whether it'll be, they'll choose choice one or two, and if it's they don't choose, they just like, you know, I failed, then you start for a new battle, right? <laughs> but that's what our closing it looks like. Once they choose one, you, you ask them very simply. Now, this part is really critical. You know, that the closing is not done as soon as they choose, like, oh, yeah, 8459. They're like, okay, all right. All right, okay, great. You just get your bank information. No. You, they choose, let's say, yeah, we would go with the first one. 8459 is fine because it has more coverage, right? I'm like, yes, good choice. Well, who are your two beneficiaries? Be? Who's entitled to the check? Still keep on giving it to them the reality of this, that somebody's going to be getting hundred and fifty thousand dollars or like you know hundred thousand dollars something happens to them you know who's gonna be getting the check still keep going with it right giving them the reality of it then they name their two people like okay all right well i'm gonna ask you some further questions to see exactly what you qualify for now you want to say this because a lot of times once you tell them like oh, we're gonna go to the hospital questions and just say yes or no they think that they just you just gave it to all of them you just spilled your beans they just think that Oh man, I just like jumped on it now. Now what might happen? You still let them know that they don't even qualify yet. It's still, you know, you're giving it to them, you're taking it back. You tell them that, all right, okay, these are your two beneficiaries for this coverage. Is that something that's comfortable with you guys? What kind of monthly basis? All right, so let me just see what you guys exactly qualify for. You go on, submit it, and then it's the application process. Fill it out, all their name, date, everything, you explain to them and everything. And that's how our coverage ends. <sighs> I mean, our presentation ends. I'm not going to go through the whole application process. Maybe another time if, if I see the need. But as of now, that's I just wanted to uh, put it on video of how our whole process is for the, you know, 
uh, since we get in the house till the end. That's everything that goes through. Obviously, there's more talking, you know, uh, it's not a one-way interaction. Now, I'm already sure this video is close to 45 minutes, one hour. Um, in the house, usually, with the videos and everything, it can go north of two hours um, at given times. That's the only drawback of, I would say, of our presentation right now is the time. I'm in the house for about two hours before I find out if they're going to buy or not, okay? You know, like, that's a lot of time. It, and it, in heavy days and schedules when I have a lot of people, just by getting into a house can throw my whole schedule off, right? I have to call a lot of people that I'm going to be running late, etc. That's the only drawback. Other than that, this is our sales presentation we have going on now. Um, it's good. It works. You, you, I just put on, you know, what my our referral system is, and the videos we go through, and the plan, you know, and the you know prioritizing system we use depending on the money they have on a monthly basis of what kind of plans we have going on for them. You know, other than that, you know, depending on what they have, we I change the application sometimes, and maybe I'll give them a four-year term or you know decreasing mortgage protection, whatever the case is. But this is the, you know, like the basic plan that we try to give them first for funeral services um paycheck protection and accidental death all right guys hope this was amazing because you know <laughs> this is our whole company's thing right there hope it helped if you have any questions comments from any other industry whatever you guys do feel free to comment on it before i mean in the comments below huh that was a lot of talking all right guys peace out